In today's episode, you will learn how to make an Arduino based GSM fire alarm system with SMS alert and buzzer. In this episode, a flame detector is used for the fire detection. When the fire is detected by the sensor, the buzzer is turned on for 8 seconds and a message is sent to the owner. In this tutorial, we will cover number 1. GSM SIM 900A specifications and pinout. Number 2. Flame sensor specifications and pinout. Number 3. Complete circuit diagram. And finally, number 4. Arduino programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the GSM SIM 900A module. The first thing that you will notice about this GSM module is that it has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltages. Because voltages greater than 5 volts can easily damage this module. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volt, but you can easily power up this GSM SIM 900A module using a 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter, then you can make your own power supply using LM3170 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM3170 explaining everything. There are a few things that I really like about the GSM 7900A module which are number one, this is the cheapest GSM module available on the market. Number two, another cool thing is it can be easily interfaced with 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano etc. and also with 3.3 volt controller boards like Node MCU, ESP8266 m module and ESP32 etc. This is where we connect the external 5 volt regulated power supply. It has a total of 9 male headers. These 3 male headers are not connected. Pin number 1 is the VCC which can be connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. In my case is I will power up this module using the external power supply so I will leave this pin unconnected. Pin number 2 is the ground which will be connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 3 is the 5 volt TXT. Pin number 4 is the 5 volt RXT. Pin number 5 is the 3.3 volt TXT and pin number 6 is the 3.3 volt RXD. As Arduino is based on the 5 volt controller board so we will be using the 5 volt DXD and 5 volt RXD pins of the GSM 7900A module. This is the flame sensor module which is also known as the infrared IR fire detector. On the right side we have a Blake IR LED sensor the flame sensor module has a total of four male headers which are clearly labeled as A0 which is the analog output pin of the flame sensor. G. This is the ground pin and it should be connected with the Arduino's ground. Plus pin is the input supply pin and this is where we connect 3.3 or 5 volts from the Arduino. D0 is the digital output signal pin which can be connected with any I.O. pin of the Arduino board or it can be directly connected with TTL supported circuits for directly controlling the buzzers and relays etc. This flame sensor module is also provided with a potential meter which can be used for adjusting the fire flame detection sensitivity. The flame sensor module is also provided with two LEDs L1 and L2. One LED is turned on when you power up the flame sensor module while the other LED only lights up when it detects the flame. 
This IR flame system module is based on the LM393 low offset voltage dual comparator. This is a 5 volt buzzer. It has a total of 3 male headers. The middle pin is not used. The plus pin is connected with one of the Arduino's I.O. pins while the minus pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. As you can see the circuit diagram is very simple. The VCC and ground pins of the flame detector are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground while the digital output pin of the flame detector is connected with the Arduino's digital pin 4. The S pin of the 5 volt buzzer is connected with the PWM pin 5 of the Arduino while the minus pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. The GSM 908 module TXT pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 7. The RXT pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 8 while the ground pin of the GSM 900A module is connected with the Arduino's ground. As I explained earlier, the recommended voltage for this GSM module is 4.725 volts. I interfaced all the components as for the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. I started off by including the software serial library. The software serial library is used for creating multiple serial ports. As you know in Arduino we have only one serial port which is available on pin number 0 and pin number 1 and this is normally used for the debugging purposes. So if we connect the GSM SIM 900A module with the Arduino's default serial port then we won't be able to send data to the serial monitor. So that's why I always say never connect any serial communication supported device with the Arduino's default serial port. We can use the software serial library for creating a serial port on other digital pins. I defined a serial port with name SIM 900 on the Arduino's digital pins 7 and 8. Pin number 7 is the RX while pin number 8 is the TX. Text for SMS is a variable of the type string which is used to store the text message which is sent when the fire is detected. Next I defined pins for the flame sensor and buzzer. The flame sensor is connected with Arduino's digital pin 4 while the buzzer is connected with the Arduino's PWM pin 5. By connecting the buzzer with the PWM pin this way we can control the sound intensity. Don't connect any sensor with the analog pin A0. I activated the serial communication using the serial dot begin function while 9600 is the baud rate. Next I activated the GSM SIM 900A module. The GSM SIM 900A module supports 9600 baud rate. If you are using any other GSM module make sure you check the baud rate which you can find in the data sheet. Using the pin mode function, I set the flame sensor as the input and buzzer as the output. By default, I want to keep the buzzer low. Then start the while loop function. Inside the while loop function, we have only two if conditions. This if condition is used to check if the flame is detected. So if the flame is detected by the sensor, the flame detector will give high signal which is read by the Arduino using the digital read function. The fire detected message is stored in the text for SMS variable. You can write any text as per your requirement. The buzzer is turned on. Currently I'm using 200. This value can be from 0 to 255. You can try different values which will give you different sound levels. Finally using the send SMS function the fire detected message is sent and then it waits for 8 seconds. This if condition means if no fire is detected then simply send a message to the serial monitor and turn off the buzzer. Send SMS is a user defined function. It has no return type and it takes only one argument as the input which is of the type string. The instructions used inside this function are exactly the same. 
I have been using this function in almost all of my GSM based projects. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.